Welcome back to our special planting show from Peterson Farms Seed. How are the markets sitting this planting season? Jenny Schleck met with an expert and has more. Thanks, Emily. We're here with Fran Olson, the crops economist and marketing specialist for North Dakota State University Extension. And Fran, obviously people are getting in the fields and they're trying to decide what they're going to do with those crops once they come up. What are some key factors that you're watching this season? Yeah, so right now we're kind of in that funny transition between watching the, the production and what's happening in South America and all the weather conditions there to now all of a sudden focusing on what's happening in, in the U.S. And of course, as we plant, start planting season, all eyes are going to be on the weather forecasts. And in particular, what's happening in Iowa and parts of eastern Nebraska, because those areas right now are very dry. I know the corn and soybean markets will be watching that very closely, um, as well as just general planting progress to see how fast is the crop going in and what are that implications then for yield potential and, and later on in the growing season when we get into the key reproductive stages for pollination and flowering. And we also are in a situation where we're having a nicer spring than we've had the last few years. And yeah. how do you think that, that those conditions are going to change what came up in that March prospective plantings report? Yeah, so we did, uh, in, the, in the prospective plantings report, we did see and expect a cutback in, in corn acreage, um, basically flat to a little up in spring wheat, uh, but then an increase in soybeans. And again, mainly because of relative prices and some of the things going on in the market. However, one of the things that I have seen in the past, and I just know enough about farming and about how farmers think, uh, we are going to have an early spring planting this year. Um, it looks as though it's going to go very, very quickly. Um, the temptation is when everything's going smooth, you just kind of keep planting a little longer. Um, and, and in particular for those early seeded crops like corn and, and wheat. Um, so my, I, I'm a little bit cautious here. My gut kind of tells me by the time we get the June report, which is the update, to that perspective plantings, that we, we might see a little more corn acres and a few less soybean acres than first expected. Now on the soybean side, we have a new marketing option in a lot of the region with uh, one soybean plant already online, another one coming, as well as others throughout the rest of the region besides here in North Dakota. How, do you, how does that change what farmers are thinking about how to sell their crops? Yeah, and so we break it into kind of, again, two pieces. Um, the first was what happens in the futures market, which is really a national, you know, to some degree, an international market. And so the fact that we have uh, one or two additional crush plants coming online when we have 63 in operation right now, you know, on the margin, yeah, it makes a difference, but it probably won't have a big impact on the futures market. However, for the local markets, the basis levels, which is really the reflection of the difference between local market and the, and the national market, that can have a difference. Lots to look forward to. Thank you, Frey Nolson with NDSU Extension. Thanks for watching AgWeek TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.